welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. This is Lucy. I'm Suzanne Ridgway, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link and checking me out. We're in my kitchen today, but we're going to do some more spring cleaning. I've been doing them in sections, giving you different videos to keep you motivated to get a jump start on your spring cleaning. We're budget friendly and we're frugal people, and we love to use the Dollar Tree within our videos, especially with cleaning. You're going to save hundreds by buying their products. They have top rated products and awesome name brands. Not a sponsor, so check out the Dollar Tree and my Dollar Tree wall playlist down below as well as our Clean With Me. Smash on that subscribe word. We're gonna go over to this set of drawers if you watch us on a regular basis. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for finding us. All others, welcome back. Let's hand it over to the other side of the kitchen and go through these drawers and get them cleaned up. Before we actually get started, we have some announcements. We're looking for six people to give out a $10 gift card. The gift cards are listed down below in my description box. Also, every 100 subscribers, we give out two gift cards. The rules are, if you're new, you need to come in order to qualify. Please be kind. You need to be subscribed and a United States residence. And I'll get to the rest of the announcements a little later within this video. We're not responsible for lost or stolen prizes by mail. We are going to take care of my utensil drawer. We did this right before the holidays, during the holiday cleaning. Everything needs to come out of it once again. It looks really decent, but you should take care of the bins because things fall in the drawer. You can want to get them wiped out. If you've been around a long time, you know we're huge fans of the Dollar Tree, as I mentioned. We're going to fix the command hooks by the pot holders, by the stove. They wore out recently and knocked down and keeps falling down. So I have some foam mounting tape, and I have some removable picture frame strips. So I'm going to see which one will work well to stick underneath the skinny bins from the Dollar Tree. So when you open the drawer, that force kind of pushes them and topples them over, and then the drawer ends up messy. My husband doesn't see that a lot of times, so next time I go into the utensil drawer, things are all over the place. So let's see what we could do to get everything out. And when you're decluttering and organizing, doing your spring cleaning, try to remove five to ten items from every area that you're working at. Work really quickly, giving yourself five, ten, fifteen minutes per area. If it's a big area, zone it off. We're going to be doing the drawers. There's not a lot of zones. Each drawer would be a zone. And then assessing the situation when it's out of the drawer, wiping it out would be another zone. And then putting it back together. So let's get started. We're going to start by taking everything out of this utensil drawer. If you've been around for a while, you know that we utilize the Dollar Tree to their fullest potential, and we like garage sales. My gray holder was picked up secondhand for a dime. It's one of my favorite 10 cent purchases. Reminds me of the old five and dime stores like Woolworths back in the day. I'm a Gen Xer. Born in the 60s, was a kid in the 70s, teen in the 80s, got drunk in the 90s, you know. And they had 10 cent items at the bottom at Woolworths on the shelves, and my mom would always let me pick something out. And get this wiped out. This is why you need to take care of the inside of your drawers. You're making coffee, prepping, and dust and dirt and debris gets in them. These are wipes from Scrub Buddy, a Dollar Tree brand, also used on the Dollar Tree Swiffer. I love them because they're multi-purpose. And it's okay to go out of order if it doesn't make sense to assess the situation first and then clean it out. I like to clean it out first so I can assess the situation of what came out of the drawers and then put it back immediately into a clean space. 
my stove top. We have everything on here. I'm going to take a little bit out at a time and wipe it out per section. Next time I go to the Dollar Tree, I'm going to pick up a couple more packages of these scrub buddies. I like to have the sharper knives pointed to the back so when you open the drawer and reach in, you don't get hurt. Including the butter knife. For the forks, I like to have them facing as you open so you don't have to look for them. And same thing with the spoons that my husband puts stuff away and he doesn't just follow the roll. I usually keep about an eight piece place setting because we do have company. That way we have enough utensils to feed people. Let's get this one put back in the drawer and we're going to see about the stick tapes to put on the bottom of the blue skinny bins. Notice I'm working very quickly. Get this put back. And the stuff from the side is going to be put back. Those are my mother's. We use them all the time. Jack and likes to have some of these so we have big straws. Again, just dumping out one skinny bin at a time. Always wipe it out. Everything needs a little TLC once in a while and you'll have them longer. I saw some pretty new colors of these skinny bins, and if I can remember which Dollar Tree I was at, I'm going to attempt on picking them up, because they're more of a natural brown color. That's more of my alley, but that's all they had was these blue ones, so I grabbed them at the time. Foam mounting tape. I don't know if this is double stick or not. Double-sided stick tape. Let's see how well this works. I had a plate with a little bit, but got it. I'm going to put it back into the drawer. And the first drawer is almost done. Open the drawer so you can see in. And yes, the mounting tape's all over the floor. Stick it in. And hopefully these won't be like my drawers where they don't really house modern hooks. Which can be frustrating when everybody's using the awesome hooks from Dollar Tree. The only door it works on is Jacqueline's bedroom. I don't think the picture frames are double-sided. Nope. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take everything out of this one then. And do the same thing. Be careful dumping it out. You don't want to crack your stove top. wipe it out. Keep them nice and clean. Let's see if we can get the double sided stick tape on the bottom of these too. Now my husband goes into the drawers quite often, especially when he's using the deep fryer and the deep fryer baskets are below. I don't really have another place for them, otherwise I would keep my casserole dishes there. I'm going to do two. Stick it down. I got a pan mixer for a dime at a local thrift store. I love it. I do use that in my stand mixer that was given to me by my mother-in-law. Let's test the theory. Let's see how well this works. Those we keep for the lunch bag. 
Now we're going to close it. And we're going to open it. Watch that. Awesome. Now we're on to the next one. This one we've done many times. On cooking, I use that from my friend Chris Elliott. Lucky girl has Joe Elliott's last name. No relation. So we use everything in here. But again, my husband lives here and he's just messy. Find the strangest things in the strangest places. Not sure why there's a hair tie in here. I think it was keeping the uh, tongs from opening. Again, just wipe it out first or after you assess the situation. It all depends on what you're comfortable with. Back here is just less commonly used items and it stays pretty tidy. So we're not going to do anything with it. Take a look at everything on here. If you do see things that you want to get rid of, Go ahead and do that. Always remove wherever you can, five to ten items per area or zone. This was done right before the holidays, so I don't need to do that. And I recently found my measuring cup, so I'm very happy about that. And then I like to put things back in grouped white items. Start putting things back. I think this is the first time I've done this video where I didn't have to replace my separators, which almost never works because I'm not single, living by myself. My family likes to come in here and not put things back the way they find them. We'll put spatulas here. The other spatula is in the sink. Put my knife there. And if you go in the back, my kids like to carve pumpkins still, even though they're older. Elizabeth Reed. They should go up here because they're smaller. No idea why my potato pillows are down here. I will show you a final view of all the drawers. This one stays okay. I keep extras and over stock down here of utensils, which I don't know why that we keep, but I do think my husband uses them on the grill outside. Again, clean it out. And then always sweep up when you're done. Keep the handles for your deep fryer baskets if you have that kind of thing. Within the basket so that way they don't get lost or bounce around. There we go. I'm going to keep this 
back here. Focusing on the wall there, I'm going to put up a couple of fan hooks and then we'll quickly sweep and close out the video. Man hooks are renter friendly and they're wonderful. Sometimes, if not used properly, they can damage your walls, so be very careful. These are metal type walls. I don't know why. So I would need a drill to hang anything. So I've been using command hooks. You can hear them. That's metal. We've been living here 12 years and Dave still knocks things down that should even be in the way. These are from the Dollar Tree and I replaced them a couple times a year. They work really well. You wash them as needed. Machine wash and then dry. Let's take a look. Did you see that? No, you didn't. They didn't move, but they stayed. That's the top drawer. Organized once again. I can look down and say, there are the tongs. Uh, there's my ladle. There's my sharp knife. Wood spoon. And I don't care about that drawer. I don't go in too often. My husband does for a steep bar basket, but it's cleaned and it's organized. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in my kitchen today and taking care of this side of the kitchen with the drawers, getting them cleaned out, decluttered, and organized. Take advantage of the cold winter months and spring clean with me. Go back to the very beginning. We've done about a dozen videos and we started with my washer and dryer down in the utility rooms. Had no idea you needed to clean them out in a deep clean twice a year. And that'll be done again in the fall. We did our bathroom and we did other areas of the house, including adding in decluttering and organizing videos within the spring cleaning. Because I live in an apartment, not a house. If you're new, don't forget about those giveaways. We're also looking for six people to give out one gift card valued at $10. We're not responsible for lots of stolen prizes by mail. You need to be subscribed in United States residents. We have a newsletter. You can email me, contryboots1268yahoo.com. That's listed down below. All of our social sites, we have a Facebook page group on Instagram, even TikTok. I use TikTok mainly to unwind. It's linked down below with all of our playlists. Have a fantastic day. Get your spring cleaning done early with me and binge watch us. Smash on that subscribe word and thank you for watching.